So some of you guys saw the video I made earlier um, asking your advice. Should I do the interview with a drama channel by the name of Cody Rance? Well, I just messaged her and I told her that I changed my mind. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of analyze what I've seen from Cody Rance and I hope you guys can learn something from it. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. If you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, and make sure you follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at The Rewired Soul, all right? So yeah, I just recorded two straight videos, and I wanted to discuss this. I have more videos planned, I want to do commentary and just analyze some people and some subjects. If you missed the last video I did, go check it out. I'll try to link it up in the info card. But anyways, Cody Rance reached out to me and uh, trying to convince me to do an interview with her. And I was going to. I don't, I, I, I don't mind. Like, I, I wanted to talk and share some of my experience about how interviews for me just, they blow up in my face. They are just always a bad idea. And I was going to do this knowing it would be awful anyways but yeah like I wanted to take this time to explain why I'm not going to do the interview with Cody Rance as well as just who she is from my point of view and when I make these videos you can take them however you want but I just want to help you guys get into my thought process and maybe it'll help you like who who I try to keep in my life who I don't keep in my life who I set boundaries with, and maybe, maybe it'll help you. But as many of you know who have been following my channel, I, I analyze people, you know, and sometimes I let my guard down and everything like that, but I really watch people and I pay attention to all of their actions. You know what I mean? And the drama community, just like the commentary community, and we all judge each other, right? But they're very judgmental of behaviors and everything like that, and that's totally cool. But one of the issues is self-awareness is something that comes, comes up a lot, right? People are like, you're not self-aware and you're not self-aware and you're not self-aware. But I just wanna bring up what I've noticed, kind of my history with Cody Rance, just share my opinions, take with it what you will, and don't send her any hate, all right? If any of you know me, I am against hate mobs online. Like anybody, and this is something we're gonna be talking about, anybody who's been a victim of this, should be against it, all right? So if you're in my community and you go try to hate on her, like I don't want you in my community, all right? So I first learned about Cody Rance from the situation with James Charles, with the, the palette and she had that reaction to it, all right? So I'm, gonna about, I'm about to talk about some things which I've never talked about publicly out of respect. And I'm gonna talk about them now and if you watch my last video, I talk about how we justify and rationalize and everything like that. Here's my rationale for this. I'm gonna talk about some sensitive subjects just to kind of give you a history of what I've seen, but this is all public, okay? There's nothing, there's nothing that people can't find or look up, okay? But Cody Rance, not only was she one of the people who was part of the hate mob against James Charles, and James Charles has openly admitted that he was suicidal in there, but Cody is also one of the other people who has joined the hate mob against me, and here's something that I had to think about before deciding to make some videos like this, is, and I, I'm a big boy, so don't, don't worry. Um, nobody's taken into consideration my sobriety. Nobody's taken into consideration the fact that I've openly discussed, you know, my suicidal past. Um, people haven't taken into consideration my family, I have a kid to feed and all that. So I don't, I don't feel like it's unfair or out of line to talk about this situation. So anyways, those of you who don't know, when Cody Rance uh, got the James Charles palette, she had uh, a reaction on her eyes and she made this very boisterous video on Twitter and it went kind of viral. And James Charles saw it and everything like that. James Charles replied. James Charles ended up doing a video with Jeffree Star 
where they kind of threw some shade at Cody Rance. And James Charles and just a lot of beauty gurus, a lot of the drama channels have a ruthless audience and they went after Cody. And I felt so bad for her. This was, God, like six, seven, eight, nine months before I got canceled, like when things were actually going good for me. And I saw what Cody was going through. She was crying her eyes out and she was begging people to stop. And she was in a bathroom and she was having a panic attack. She was talking about how she was self-harming again. And I'm like, damn, like this is awful. Like, I'm like, you know, she made that video, but like she does not deserve this, right? So when everything happened to me uh, about six months ago, earlier this year, when the drama channels came after me, Cody Rance has been one of those people who has come after me. And like, that's cool. Like I, I get it. And it's a, it's a weird thing. And I'm going to talk about this in some other videos. Like I, I just, it's a tricky situation where if you sign up to be a drama channel or a commentary channel, like we have to be prepared, right? Like throughout my whole time of the hate mob coming after me, like I'm very aware, like Chris, you decided to be a YouTuber, right? But anyways, I would have thought that Cody Rance had some more empathy because she went through that, but she was one of the people joining in the hate mob and making videos and everything like that against me. So I forgot when it was, it was a month or two ago. And Cody said something, you know, she said something about me on Twitter or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'm finally going to reach out to her. And I said, Cody, here's the thing. Like, I was like, I love your content. I love how goofy you get and you'd like talk crap. Like I dig that. Right. I said, here's, here's where I'm confused. Uh, and I, I, I talked to her about this privately. I said, what happened to you when James Charles's fans came after you? I was like, that was unfair. I was like, that wasn't cool. That wasn't, you know, and, and I felt awful. And I was like, and Cody, I've, I haven't made videos talking about you because I saw what you went through. All right. And I, I told her that and she said, you know, like, okay. And like, we started talking and just having this kind of, you know, conversation and, um, and yeah, and she told me that she messed up when she did that video on James Charles. And she said that a lot of the drama channels came to her and told her where she messed up. And she said she learned and she grew from that. So when I'm looking at that situation, I'm, I'm like, okay, you've learned and you've grown from that. What does that mean? Right? But to each their own. So Cody and I, we talked a bit and everything like that. Um, we kind of came to an agreement. She disagreed with me talking about mental health and addiction without being a licensed professional. She um, has a degree in psychology, I believe. And a lot of, a lot of people think that they, you know, I, I hate to say this, but a lot of people have psychology degrees and, you know, they're very, very proud of it. But, you know, I, I'm sorry to say this, but I would not, I would not want Cody Rance treating me, okay? Um, but yeah, we just disagreed on that, but we we stayed cool. Uh, you know, she's made a bunch of videos about me and everything like that, but we were kind of cool. What what set her off again was when Earth Mother came out and said some stuff and like, Earth Mother was being real and she was talking about the bias in the beauty community. And it's like, okay, like that's real. But something you notice about the beauty community not the beauty community. Well, the beauty community and the drama community. It's a very tight knit click, right? And there's this kind of loyalty to a fault, okay? So in some previous videos, I've talked about in groups and out groups. So if you're on the out group, like you're, you're done. They will all team up and go against you. So me, I just look at people as people. I don't, I don't like hierarchies. You know, I, I didn't like the stuff in high school where they're cool kids, not cool kids, stuff like that. Like people are just people, right? But you see the drama channels stick up for each other and everything like that. And this, this creates even more bias. And, you know, although Cody talked to me about people pointing out her flaws, like she, she's not aware enough to just admit and say, yeah, you know, we are pretty biased. You know what I mean? So anyway, she was upset with me for um, saying Earth Mother was right. So that's when she started tweeting about me again and just saying all these sassy things. And I'm just like, whatever, 
that's cool. So anyways, Cody's been tweeting and tweeting and tweeting and uh, today she reached out about the interview. And I, I, everything I said in my video earlier, that was pretty much everything I said in the DM I sent to her too. And here's the other thing. I don't know if Cody's gonna respond. I don't know if Cody's gonna read the DMs. I don't do that. Like, I don't have a reason to do that um, unless it really came down to it, but I don't see it being it. But that's something that, you know, the drama channels have no shame about. Like, my whole situation started from them leaking DMs. So I, I let Cody know, like, hey, anytime I message you, I'm very aware that you might leak this. You know what I mean? But anyways, the reason why I messaged her back and said, you know, I don't want to do this is because like, I, I just don't, I don't know what her deal is. And here's the thing. So she was kind of cool, kind of chill in the DMs, but she's two different people. And some of you know people like this. They act one way over here, then they act a different way over here. Like, do you have like your friend who acts one way and then when they're with their significant other, they act a different way? Or you have a friend who acts one way with a group of people and they act a different way with another group of people? Cody Rance is a very different person in DMs, all right? She still has some kind of some of that sass and everything like that, but she's very, very different when you talk to her in DMs. But I don't know what it is, and I'm not trying to diagnose or anything, but I see publicly there's this attention-seeking behavior. So today, you know, she made some tweets about interview questions for me, and that was, that was all right. But then she went and uh, she did a live stream reading my, reading my book and critiquing it. And I caught it, I caught it for a few minutes and she was talking about how she's learned and she's grown and everything like that. And I'm like, oh lordy lordy. I'm like, yeah, I gotta set up a boundary. I can't, I'm like, I don't know what's going on with her, but I can't have that in my life. Because here's the thing, I've been watching Cody Rance since the James Charles thing and I haven't seen much difference. If you go through Cody's Twitter, you'll see constant poking and prodding at James Charles talking all this crap. And what I try to understand about the drama community is this, the way they justify, like why is this okay and why is this not? But this is something that we recognize a lot. Like she, she feels, she feels that James Charles is a bad person. And he deserves this. Now, what I don't understand is why she feels the video she made wasn't okay but everything else she's done attacking James Charles since then is okay. And the only thing that I can think of is she had such a negative response from the James Charles thing. So as somebody on the outside looking in, as somebody who's judging who to keep in and out of my life, it seems like she, she only has a problem if there are consequences to it. And that's something that I try to steer clear of. I try to keep people around and I try to be this person where no matter where you see me, I'm going to be the same person, all right? And the last six months have been difficult and I've been like refinding myself and I know that sounds pretty lame, but, um, but yeah, uh, I, I wanted to share just kind of how my thought process works and you might know people like this as well, feel free to, take away with this what you will. But yeah, I notice a lot of things that, I don't know, not that many people talk about. So anyways, again, like I said, don't send Cody Rance any hate or anything like that. If you wanna form your own opinion, that's cool. I'm, I'm sure you have an opinion about me. I have an opinion about you. We all have opinions about each other, but that's me sharing my experience. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, everybody who supports the channel in other ways, buying my books and merch and all that kind of stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.